welcome back to my channel. Um, so this class was requested on my Instagram stories a while back, so I said I would um, give it a go. So this is one of my favorite core activation or core um, strengthening sequences. So your core is really, really important because it supports your lower back. And oftentimes when we have lower back issues, we're not engaged in our core properly. So therefore the lower back takes all of the weight um, and does all of the work. So first of all, have the intention for the core to switch on. Talk to your core, ask it to work, tell it to move and think about the muscles that you're trying to move and the area that you're working with. Now, of course, if there's any pain or anything, please stop and just take it easy. You know, if you need to come down to the knees or go into child's pose, do that. Okay, so we're going to start in wide legged child's pose. Bring your knees out really wide. Have your big toes together. Sit back on your heels and walk your hands out in front and bring your forehead to the mat. Now, if your forehead doesn't reach the mat, make two fists and rest your forehead on fists. So closing down the eyelids. Take a deep breath in through the nose, fill up the belly, fill up the lower back and exhale completely. Just stay here for a couple of breaths. Allowing your torso to drop between your knees and just relax. Notice your breath as it enters and leaves the body. And start to deepen your breath. Start to gently wake up the body. And if your arms aren't already stretched out, reach them out in front. Come high up on your fingertips. Now keep your bum pressing back towards your heels. Inhale up past your fingertips. Exhale round your back, chin to chest. Inhale, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Keep moving like that, waving through the spine. Inhale, lift your chest up forward. Exhale, round your spine and look in. So we're warming up the back, warming up the spine. And it's really important to warm up the body before you go into any strenuous exercise. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, look forward. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Last time, inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Inhale, look forward. And then walk your hands back. Lift yourself up into your tabletop position. So really spread your fingers. Have your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, kick your right leg back. Now look back to make sure your toes are pointing down on the right foot and that your hips are level. So squeeze those inner thighs together. Press firmly through the right hand and then inhale, reach your left arm out. Reach it out, look forward. Exhale, bring your elbow to your knee. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Slow and controlled. Inhale, reach it out. Stretch out, look forward. Exhale, elbow to knee. Two more. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last time, inhale, reach it out. Exhale, elbow to knee, and release. Just shake out the wrists, move the hips side to side, and come back to neutral. So really press the tops of the feet into the mat. Glide your shoulder blades onto the back, and inhale, kick, left leg back. Again, squeeze those inner thighs together to keep the hips level. Push firmly through the heel and toes pointing down. Inhale, reach your right arm out, palm facing inward. Hug to midline. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, look forward. Stretch out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Three more. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last time, inhale, reach out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach out. And exhale, release. Just move through a couple of normal cat cows. Inhale, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Again, inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. 
Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Last time, inhale, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. And come back to neutral. Walk your hands, just a handprint forward. Curl your toes under and lift yourself up into your downward facing dog. Now bend and straighten your legs. Look in towards your shins. Look at your hands to make sure your fingers are really spread. Again, breathe deep. Breathing into the belly. Place your left foot on the mat. Inhale, right leg up. Reach your heel up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, release. Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Come all the way down. Flatten out the body, reaching your legs back. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders and squeeze your elbows into your ribcage. Inhale, baby cobra, just lift the head, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press up a little bit higher, look forward. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, press up. Exhale, lower. Curl your toes under, press back. Downward facing dog. Catch your breath. Strong to the hands and the arms. Place your right foot on the mat. Inhale, left leg up. Reach to your heel. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, release. Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Come all the way down. Flatten down the body, reaching your legs back. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders and squeeze your elbows into your ribcage. Full cobras this time. Inhale, stretch the belly up. up. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, press up. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, press up. Exhale, fold. Curl your toes under, press back. Downward facing dog and hold. Hold your downward facing dog for three deep breaths. Lift those hips up. Press your heels down. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, lower to your knees. And come back into that tabletop position again. So keep your fingers really spread. Keep your shoulders directly over your wrists. Kick your right leg back and we're going to do some rainbows again i want you to really use your core and not allow the legs to do all the work so bring your right toes over to the left and over to the right breathe slow and controlled up and over trying to keep the body still just moving the leg engaging the core Breathe, inhale up and over, exhale back for three, two, one, and release. Again, just give the wrist a little shake, come back to your position and stretch the left leg back. Now really engage that leg, hug your belly button in and up, bring your left toes over to the right. Now keep the rest of the body really still, up and over. Breathe. Inhale up, exhale over. Go for five more. Three, two, one, and release. Come back to neutral. Just bring the knees together, feet together, sit back on your heels. Walk your hands out in front and bring your forehead to the mat and take a rest. Again, if your forehead doesn't reach the mat, make two fists and rest your forehead on this. Let the lower back lengthen. Take one more deep breath in and exhale, release. Lower yourself all the way down onto your belly, reaching your legs back 
and come up onto your forearms. So you want your elbows directly underneath your shoulders, interlace your hands. So it might be enough here if the lower back is really weak. Just make sure you're engaged and you're lifting your lower belly up off the mat and hold it here. You're engaging your shoulders, lifting your head and neck up out of um, the shoulders. Curling your toes under if you want to go a little bit further and slowly peel hips up, thighs, knees and come up into your low plank. So we're going to do some hip dips. Slowly in control, drop your right hip down. Inhale back to centre, exhale left hip down. So we'll do 10, 9, 8. Now really engage the core. 7, 6, 5. Keep looking past your fingers. 4, 3, 2, 1. Now hold your low plank for 10. Really work on the core here. 9, breathe. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And exhale, lower your knees, thighs, hips. Come all the way down. Make a pillow with the hands and rest your left cheek down. So hopefully you felt the fire in the belly, the core switching on. And then slowly press yourself back up, swinging your legs to the front, and slowly and controlled lower yourself all the way down onto the mat. Now hug your knees in towards your chest and gently rock side to side. Now we're just going to warm up with a few little uh, bridge poses. So keep your feet on the mat, bring your hands down by your side and allow your fingertips to graze the heels. You just want about a fist with distance between the legs. Inhale, lift your hips up and exhale, slowly lower. Again, inhale, lift up. Initiate the core to lift up. And exhale, slowly lower. Do three more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, up. And exhale, lower. Lengthen out the legs. Now, if you have any lower back issues, bring the back to the hands underneath your bum. Fingertips pointing to the end of the mat. If not, and you want to make it more challenging, have the hands directly down by the side. We're going to do some leg raises. Engage your feet, flex your toes back, glue your inner thighs together, and inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. We'll do five more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Really press your lower back into the mat. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower, two more, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, last time, inhale, lift, and exhale, slowly lower, all the way down, and bring your knees into your chest, gently rock side to side, and we're going to do one more um, sequence before we Finish up. So bring your legs out long again. Bring your hands down by your side or underneath your bum for more support. Glue the inner thighs together and inhale, slowly lift up. And we're just going to circle the legs. So you can make your circles as big or as small as you wish. Just keep the legs together. Now the bigger you make the circles, the more challenging it's going to be on your core. We'll do five, four, Breathe, three, two, one. Come back to centre, go in the opposite direction for five. Slow and controlled. Four, three, two, and one. Come back to centre and slowly lower all the way down. Bring those knees in, gently rock side to side and grab the backs of the thighs and rock all the way up. 
come up to a comfortable seated position. Bringing the hands together in front of the heart. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale. Namaste. So I hope you enjoyed that core activation uh, sequence. I hope you feel the fire in your belly. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to my channel and let us know how you got on in the comments below. Thank you very much.